Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today, I want to talk about an exotic. Specifically, the first curse. So, my question in the title is, is the first curse good yet? So, I mean, we've got this gun, this exotic hand cannon that is supposed to be the counter-argument to the last words. So the last word is a fast-firing, hip-fire hand cannon that you just whip out, pop it off from the hip, and going about your business whereas the first curse is supposed to be that slow pull it out aim down the sights and get that headshot get that get that shot on precision and they both have talents that that lend themselves to that so the first curse talent is uh first precision kill of the magazine will refill it and it grants bonus range and stability until you reload it also has triple tap whereas the last word has bonus hip fire accuracy uh, and improve stability and target acquisition when firing from the hip. So, uh, definitely two different guns of the same visual styling with completely different gameplay talents. Um, so, I want to ask, because the last word is one of the top PvP guns. I wanted to talk about the first curse and ask, is it good yet? Um, because when I first got it... It was hard to use. It didn't work too good. They have made some changes to hand cannons since then, and I, I was using the first curse. I saw I saw a uh, giggle monster use it in trials. I was like, oh, he's using it pretty effectively. That's kind of a good way to use it. So I was like, I'll use it in some PvP. See how I like it. So I used it in a match. It's like, oh, I really like it. It's really good. Let's see if it's actually good. So I took it into some uh, prison of elders. I did some more PvP with it. Got a good feel for it, and we're going to talk about that and see if it is good yet. So, getting into the PvE gameplay, this week's Prison of Elders had uh, the Precision Kill modifier, and a gun like the First Curse is perfect for that because it is all it is, the gun itself is predicated on getting Precision Kills. It's a high-impact, low-rate-of-fire hand cannon. I really like hand cannons in Prison of Elders for getting Precision Kills, and I was like, alright, this will be awesome. We'll go in there, we'll get our precision kills, and we'll be done. It'll be perfect gun for it, in theory. In practice, I'm not that good, or the gun's not that good, because it didn't work out. We, I just couldn't, I couldn't get those precision kills as easily as I wanted to with other hand, like with other hand cannons. So, the first curse, I feel like it's missing some aim assist compared to other hand cannons, or you have to get the first perk, first curse perk <laughs> first curse perk active before you actually get that bonus stability and before the gun becomes good which is a problem it needs to be good and then get even better um it does have the range and it does have the impact if you get on target i don't know what it was about this hand cannon i just couldn't get it on target um it just didn't feel it didn't have that feeling it didn't have that feel of a strong pve hand cannon like something like uh, her revenge does right now her revenge very similar archetype not as high impact but uh, it's a legendary hand cannon that you can get from the prison of elders it's a queen's weapon and it's it's pretty solid I really like it um, I use that for most prison of elders when I need precision kills so I went all the way through the level 42 uh, POE with the first curse and it I kept thinking well maybe next round maybe it's the enemy type maybe next round it'll be good Maybe I'll get into it. Maybe the swing of it. Maybe I'm just not used to it. And I kept... It just never happened. Never quite got there. And I was I was a little disappointed in that. So, I decided I'll take it back into PvP. We'll use it out some more there. And see how that goes. PvP was a little better. Because I knew what to expect. But it's kind of a game mode dependent hand cannon. You don't want to run into Mayhem Clash with this gun. You don't want to run into Iron Banner Clash with this gun. You don't want to run into Rift with this gun. Threes? 3v3 game modes? Yeah. It's probably a better choice. The last word still outshines it by a lot, but if you use the first curse in conjunction with like something short range, sidearm, shotgun, fusion rifle, um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. But if you like using the first curse to get those precision shots and with your sniper, definitely. Because it's almost a sniper itself. It's a short range hand cannon sniper. Um, if you get it on target in PvP, it's it's deadly. It, it'll decimate somebody if you get if you're getting headshots because it'll uh, I think two headshots and a body shot and the guy's dead. So it's definitely that archetype, but 
getting headshots with this gun in PvP, I didn't have as much trouble as I did in PvE. I don't understand that. Uh, maybe it was the game I was playing, but it just didn't... It came together better in PvP for me than it did in PvE. So, uh, generally, these I do like Legendary Max videos on Legendary Weapons where I give it a grade in PvE and PvP. That's not what this is, but this is... PVE and PVP performance. So PVE, I'm just, I don't like it. Um, uh, but in PVP, it's better. I like it in PVP in certain situations. In others, not so good. Um, so, first curse, is it good yet? <sighs> if there weren't other guns like the last word, it would be good. But we have guns like the last word and the Hawk Moon to compare it to that are just better. They're just better. I just like them better. So, if you are someone that has a very steady hand and good aim in the game, very good reflexes, this will this will serve you better than it did me. Uh, I don't necessarily have a good time with it because I can't quite get on target. Uh, I need something like an auto rifle or a pulse rifle that gives me that that better opportunity to get on target. When it's a high risk, high reward situation with a weapon, I'm not the player to use it. I need something where I can spray them down, be suppressive, get in closer, use my combination of skills to kill them. I need to MacGyver them. I can't necessarily sniper them. I can't I sniper them, but I can MacGyver. I'll MacGyver you to death. I'm not going to sniper you to death. But I have had my moments with a sniper, like in Trials last weekend. I, I do have a Y9 Longbow Synthesis, and I did snipe a Blade Dance in Blade Dance. So I was very proud of that moment. That was a good moment. Um, but anyway, guys, what do you think about the first curse? Are any of you even using the first curse? Have you have you found it useful? Do you think it's good yet? Do you think it's always been good or do you think it's always been garbage? Let me know in the comments. And uh, what other exotics would you like me to take a look at? What other exotics are you feeling that maybe people don't give uh, give their just due? So uh, that's all for me. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Death from Above. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. It helps the video get more noticed. And subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment. I want to know what you think about the first curse. So I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Death from Above, and I will see you later. See you back.